Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in today's video we have this 2023 Volkswagen Atlas and we're going to do the side chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the side panels and this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material in order to black out the entire side panel. The link for the product will be provided below. But with that being said, let's start with the installation video. So before we start with the installation for the side panel, we need to make sure we prep each panel that is going to be worked on. So all we need is water and baby shampoo mixed together in a spray bottle. Once you have your solution, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and make sure to remove any contaminants that the panel may have. You can also use any other type of cleaning chemical that's safe to use on your vehicle. Just make sure that the panel doesn't have any contaminants, wax, or any coating. That way the film is able to tack down more better to the panel and it doesn't lift over time. And then once you're done prepping the panel, make sure that everything's completely dry. That way the adhesive on the film is able to tack down to the chrome. Okay, so once you finish prepping the panel, now we can start with the installation. So with this one, all we need to do is just place the film on the chrome. Don't align it to the edge yet because we're going to start by aligning it here first. So just make sure when you place the film, you align it right on the edge in order to cover the chrome located where the mirror is at. So just place the film right on the edge. You can also give yourself just a little bit more material. That way you have enough coverage on the edge and also make sure you're covering the panel underneath. So that material should be fine, that way it covers the edge. And now all we need to do is lift the film and align it to the panel. And we can use the lower section of the chrome as a guide to align the rest of the film. Once you place the film, grab your squeegee, start tacking down the entire film. And all we need to do is just make sure we don't leave any air trapped underneath the film. And then we just help it tack down to the panel. And after that, we'll apply heat. That way we help the film start molding to the design of the chrome. And then we'll trim off any excess material if there's any. So now that we finished tagging it down, grab your heat gun, start applying heat on the panel, and then we'll trim off the excess material afterwards. For trimming off the excess material, just create an outline on the top section of the chrome. So you're going to feel when you pass your finger, there is a small gap in between the rubber gasket and the actual chrome panel. When you create the outline right there, you're just going to grab your blade and carefully trim off the excess material. So take your time when you're doing this and you don't have to apply too much pressure when you're trimming off the excess material. All you need to do is just place your blade and just lightly pass it until you reach to the edge. And then just carefully lift the film and start removing the excess material. And just finish it off. Make sure to trim off here on the top, on the edge, and finish it off on this top here. And then apply heat once we're done trimming. And then the same steps that were done for this door, you would repeat it for the rear door. It's the same steps since they're both the same design. And once you're done, we'll move on to the quarter window panel.
Okay, for the last piece, all we need to do is just make sure we align it on the curve here. Make sure you have enough film to cover the top section of the chrome, to cover the chrome underneath here. Once you have it tacked down and it's good to go, same steps as the other ones. Follow the lower section of the panel as a guide to align the film. And then once you're done aligning it, then we'll use our squeegee to tack everything down. So make sure everything's being covered. Should be good. With this one, start from the middle where the curve is located. That way we secure it first. And then once this is secured, work your way to one end and then to the top. So just carefully tack down everything, remove all the air. And then once you're done with this step, we're going to apply heat. That way the film starts molding to the chrome and then we'll trim off excess material. Now that we finish tanking down the film, grab your heat gun, apply heat. That way we help the film start molding to the design of the panel and then we'll trim off excess material. So we're doing the same exact process when it comes to trimming. Create the outline on the top and you're just going to carefully insert your blade and just trim off the excess material carefully. And then once we're done trimming off all the excess material, we're going to apply heat. That way we help tack down the film. And then the last step would be post heating the entire panel. So the last thing to do once you finish with the entire installation for the side panel is to apply heat on each section that was worked on. That way we help the adhesive on the film act very faster. And also if there is any film lifting around the edges, apply heat, help it tack back down with your squeegee just to make sure it doesn't lift over time. We need to secure it. And then once you're done with this process, you're done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the side Chrome Delete installation for the 2023 Volkswagen Atlas. We hope that the video helped you guys out with the installation. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.